Hello, Dr. Evangelos Milonas here at Kinetic Health. Today we'll be discussing the musculocutaneous nerve and specific uh, nerve gliding exercises that you can do to help treat that nerve if it's being compressed. The musculocutaneous nerve originates in the neck at the C5-6 levels. It travels down through the shoulder and it primarily supplies the muscles in this area, this part of the arm, the coracobrachialis, the biceps, and a muscle deep to the biceps called the uh, brachialis. These muscles are primarily involved in flexing the elbow, but also in supination, which means turning the hand from a downward position to a palm up position. Above the elbow, the nerve is responsible for motor function, meaning strength and movement. Below the elbow, it's involved with supplying sensation to the forearm. So sometimes if there's a problem at the wrist or the thumb, or you're getting some burning or numbing, uh, tingling sensation in this part of the arm, it could be the sensory part of that nerve. But if there's a problem above the elbow where you're finding that bringing your arm in is causing you pain or it's weak or as you turn the hand this way, you know, it could be the motor part of the nerve. So clinically significant uh, in anyone who's using their arm to perform those motions. I mean, it's a, it's a thing that we do on a daily basis, very key movement in a lot of sports and a lot of jobs. So now we're going to get into some exercises to help you uh, glide this nerve to treat it at home. Hello, Dr. Brian Abelson here. I'm going to show you a, some pretty simple ways to basically floss or glide the musculocutaneous nerve. As Evangelist was explaining to you, if you have a problem with flexion or if you're going from pronation into supination and for some reason you can't bring your hand over, these exercises are going to help you to perhaps free up the nerve and help address that situation. Pretty, pretty simple actions actually to do that. All we have to do is take the arm and bring it back into extension and then basically take the wrist over like so as we come back. So, we have Emmy take the arm, bring it back, take the wrist right over, and she should feel a nice stretch all the way down the arm. You feel that? Yes, I do. Good, good, good. So, this action is pretty simple. We probably do this five to ten times, performing this action four or five times a day. And this will help to free up the nerve, get it gliding or moving through the tissue. Okay, there's a second exercise I'd like to show you, especially for those individuals who have a condition called Dequaverin's tenosynovitis, which also involves this nerve. What we would do is we would take the thumb and bring it right down and grasp onto the thumb, and then we're just going to move the arm in a circular fashion. But as we bring it down, we want to make sure we're kind of pulling this down a little bit this way as we go around. So we take both arms and move them around like this. Good. Okay, right around. And we do this maybe five, ten times. We can do this several times throughout the day.